Hi everyone and welcome to CodeFriend. Today I'll be talking about Unity Games frame rate. This video has two parts. In the first one I'll be showing you how to limit the frame rate of your game, and in the second one I'll be showing you why you should limit the frame rate of your games. Let's get started. Once Unity is open, head up to the game window and click on the small start button in the top right corner. This will display a window containing a ton of useful information about your game when in runtime mode, including the frame rate. Now let's create a C -sharp script that will help you limit the frame rate. The name of the script doesn't matter, I personally named it Limit FPS. And once created, you can open it. To limit the frame rate in our Unity game, we only need one line application.targetFrameRate. This line can be added in start or awake method of any of your scripts, as long as it is called, it will work. We need to assign a numeric value to target frame rate. For example, I will be assigning 60, which means that my game will be capped at 60 FPS. Let's try this. You can save the script and go back to Unity. Don't forget to add this script to an object of your scene, any will work, and you can press play. As you can see in the stats window, my FPS are indeed capped at 60. The game will never go beyond that limit. Let's try something more obvious, go back in the script and assign something like 10 to the target frame rate. Save the script, go back in Unity and run your game again. As you can see, the application is now way slower and this is because of the FPS limit we set up. So now that you know how to limit the frame rate of your game, let's see why you should take some time to add a limitation like this in your game. First of all, let me tell you about the Unity documentation concerning the frame rate limitation. You will find the link in the description. On this page, we learn that the base value of target frame rate is minus one. Given that it is technically impossible to reach minus one FPS, this means that by default, your application is running at an unlimited amount of FPS. Which also means that if you want to remove the limitation we set up earlier, you just have to pass the minus one value to target frame rate. This is relevant for Windows, Mac and Linux, so standalone. But the frame rate limitation works a bit differently on other devices. For example, on mobile, the frame rate is capped at 30 FPS to preserve the battery. For WebGL, it's the web browser that defines the amount of FPS of the application. For VR, the amount of FPS is defined by the SDK. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that every operating system and every devices are working differently with the frame rate limitation. So make sure to read the documentation for builds that are not standalone. So now you might be wondering why should we limit the frame rate of our games? What's the point? The higher the frame rate, the best is the experience. Well, actually not really. If you paid attention to the PC games that got released in the last few years, you might have noticed that a majority of them offers the opportunity to limit the frame rate. So why did the developers of those games decided to add this option? Well, there are a few reasons. The main ones are to reduce the energy consumption of the device, reduce the heat production of the device, and finally, to reduce the noise generated by the fans of the device. Those three reasons in that particular order are the main reason why we should add a frame rate limitation system in our games. Whether you are on PC, a game console or a mobile device, reducing energy consumption is a very good point. Especially for mobile devices, it also means less battery usage, so less charging needed. A huge energy consumption means a huge heat production. Some devices, especially the one running iOS, block themselves when they are too hot, so the components inside does not get damaged. Same rule goes for the PC. By running Doom in Ultra for an hour, you can safely shut down your heater. Your computer will act like one anyway. Pretty convenient in the winter. Lastly, a huge heat production means fans 
to cool down the device, and fans means noise. Computer and game consoles are the main devices concerned by this problem. Recently, I've played Uncharted 4 for the first time on PS4, and I've been very surprised by the amount of noise generated by the PS4. To sum up, every device is concerned by those problems. PC, consoles, mobile, VR, etc. The last thing I want to talk about is how to set up an efficient system to limit the frame rate. Because at the beginning of the video, I showed you a very straight and simple way to do that, but limiting frame rate to every player's without taking their device's specifications in consideration is a very bad idea. For example, if you are capping the frame rate of your game to 60 FPS for every player, that might not have any impact on someone playing your game on a mobile. But a player with a better device and a 144 Hz screen will feel the limitation and be frustrated by it. This is why in the majority of games being released on PC, it is possible to limit the frame rate, but it is not mandatory. Every player has the choice to limit the frame rate or not. And if not, the device will do everything it can to get the higher frame rate possible. So giving the choice to the player is the way to go. But if you want something more automatic and efficient, I might have something for you. In Unity, there is a very simple way to limit the frame rate of a player based on his device. We can use resolution.refreshrate. By using this line, you get the refresh rate of the player's screen. And by assigning this value to target frame rate, you can easily limit the frame rate of the player based on his screen. For example, a 144 Hz screen can't display more than 144 FPS. So basically, it is not necessary to go beyond that limit. And it is exactly what this simple line does. For a player using a 60Hz screen, the game frame rate will be capped at 60fps. This is one of the few ways to go to implement a limitation system for the frame rate. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If that's the case, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Unity tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you guys very soon. Cheers!